Follow-up on the Bangladesh Bank Fund Heist. The FBI will team up with Bangladesh Police's CID to investigate the cyber heist at Bangladesh Bank's account with New York Federal Reserve Bank. This announcement was made by the CID's additional Deputy Inspector General Shah Alam after a 30-minute meeting yesterday afternoon. Shah Alam said that they have cyber experts who will trace down the IP address of the hackers and the financial beneficiaries. We found this news collectively from the Daily Star and the Dhaka Tribune and the public comments on them were as such. S. Alam commented, We want the money back. No ping pong, please. Munna Hamza commented that the thieves are hiding inside the bank. To hell with your hacking. And that's why Zoha has been abducted and probably even killed by the intelligence. And finally, Shafiq Rahman commented, Take in Shajib was a joy in remand and all will be revealed. Meanwhile, on the other hand, yesterday, our new Bangladesh Bank Governor Fazli Kabir took a vow. He promised to strengthen the IT security so that we can avoid the reoccurrence of cyber attacks. Sad news for Bangladesh Entertainment. The popular actress of the 90s, Parveen Sultan Aditi, has passed away yesterday after a long battle with brain cancer. She breathed her last at the United Hospital at around 4 p.m. She was first diagnosed with brain cancer back in July 2015, after which she was taken to India. When her health showed some improvement, she was brought back to Bangladesh, but soon after her health condition worsened. She was again taken back to India for further treatment in November. But this time she showed no improvement, so she was again back to her own country. And finally yesterday, at the United Hospital, she returned to the Almighty as to him she belonged. Reza Rahim commented that we should all learn from this, that we will all leave this world someday. And Diti left us at an early age. And we should not forget that this is the ultimate fate of human being. Inaitul expressed that he's shocked and that Bangladesh film industry has lost a legend. He also said that we pray for her eternal soul to be placed into Natul Firdaus. Amen. And finally, Shahid Islam commented, May God bless her soul and grant her paradise. Amen. About 98% CNG run auto rickshaws are still charging passengers based on contracts. In the port city, though, fare meters were made mandatory earlier last month. Not only that, about 85% of the auto rickshaws do not even want to go to the desired destination of the passengers. Also, 87% of the drivers will ask for extra tip. This research was done by Muhammad Muzammal Haq, who's the president of BPWA Chittagong. A team of 12 members took a field visit yesterday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. to observe this plying of the CNG run auto rickshaws. The team also found out that 33% of the rickshaws did not even have meters. This survey was conducted among 362 auto rickshaws and 384 passengers. We found this news on the feed of the Daily Star and there was this one comment that we all probably want to say. Partho commented, not only in the port city, but also in the capital city, passengers are suffering from this malpractice of CNG run auto rickshaw drivers. Now this indeed is a very important news for all of us, since we witness this every day and are unable to speak of it. Now thanks to BPWA, it is out in the open for everyone to know. Let's hope that the government will take necessary actions to improve this.